In the year 2020, a mind-blowing art space was inaugurated in the capital city of the northern region, Tamale. Ibrahim Mahama, the internationally known Ghanaian artist who was said to have used proceeds from the sale of his artwork to purchase six aeroplanes, extended the Savannah Center for Contemporary Art with the Red Clay Studio. Ibrahim Mahama is acclaimed for his large-scale installations and performances around the world. He is a collector of things, from jute sacks to sewing machines, train parts, smooth face grills, photographs, documents, and planes. He has recently been selected to represent Ghana at the Sydney and Venice. At the center are a collection of aeroplanes by Ibrahim Mahama, brought to Tamale by the road. They have transformed as discovery spaces and the seats will serve the various cinema rooms at the studio. What you're seeing in your shot right now is the aeroplanes which he has collected and is being shown at the center or the studio. We got the opportunity to enter one of the aeroplanes. The artist not only wants to create but also desires to transform the contemporary art scene in Ghana. In 2019, he founded the Savannah Center for Contemporary Art, bringing culture space to the local people. In the middle of the pandemic in 2020, the artist brought hope with the opening of a new space, Red Clay Studio, which you are seeing now on your screens. The space, named after the burnt amber earth of northern Ghana, is not only an artist studio. The idea is to connect communities with convertible rooms, indoors and outdoors, allowing screenings, meetings, workshops, and creating. The aim of the cultural institution is to elevate minds by bringing a critical discourse through creation, publications, and diverse activities. This art piece is titled Food, and the artist used Gary and other foodstuffs such as the dough used to prepare Chiozafe and Tom Brown plus feet. They are all mixed together to produce this material. Very beautiful art piece that you can see.
parts that I love so much. These are the corrections of train parts, airplane seats, fish grills, and other stuffs. As you can see in the shots right now, these are train seats which are being or which will be used to decorate the cinema rooms. And these are fish grills that you're seeing over there. The woody such that we are seeing there are all fish grills which have been collected for particular purposes. And what you are seeing now on the floor is the train tra tracks, the train tracks, which is about two centuries old. And it is very old, as you can see. These are two centuries old. And these are the collection of stretches or stretches which are which are were used in the olden days to carry sick or like people who have been injured. These are old stretches. These are collections of things, different kinds, which have been collected by Mr. Ibrahim Mahama for the purposes of art. He's taking art to different level. These are lanterns, a collection of old lanterns, which portrays the theme of existing otherwise. And these are like art lanterns that we think that later will be used again in our society. So it is more or less the ghost of these lanterns, which all which has come back into existence. There is even scribes from the past. We are seeing all of them in the shots. And then the old smocks of chiefs and people from the north. These some of them are about 100 years old and some have been in existence for long. Even the materials that were used, as you can see in the shots, are different from what is being used right now. These are the scribes that you can see in your shots right now. I think that this is a great initiative and that it is a worth. I think that this is a great initiative and a place that is worth a visit by everyone. On view at the studio now is the existing otherwise the future of coexistence. Please thank you for watching our videos and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like, comment and share our videos for others to, to watch.